Hello everyone, this is Michelle Shannon and I am here today to share with you some words of encouragement and some inspiration that the Lord shared with me yesterday. Yesterday was a Jesus to Man kind prayer group here in Indianapolis. I have uh, two prayer warriors from the Remnant Army that I pray um, the rosary with and do the Jesus to Mankind prayer group. So yesterday was very beautiful. The Lord came through, spoke to my heart and soul about a couple of things, and I thought they were so beautiful that it would be uh, wonderful to share with you and hopefully and inspire and encourage you what the Lord laid upon my heart in the way of interior locution. And some of it came to me in the way of uh, thoughts that were specific words and some of it came to me in the way of um, that he was revealing things that he just wanted me to know and um, so it started with Jesus speaking to me at the point where we were at the end of the fourth decade decade of the rosary we were doing the sorrowful mysteries and we had just completed the fourth decade and Jesus spoke to my soul and he said um, I love you and of course that was wonderful to hear from Jesus in that way and hear that he loves me and then he said we love you all and he was speaking of the three of us that were assembled for this prayer group and I said to him who is we in spirit I said this and um, he said the angels and the saints he said they're here with you and um, I was overwhelmed by that I just thought that was so beautiful they're here with you that the angels and saints came when we assembled they gathered together around us and um, they love us you know this prayer group this Jesus to mankind prayer group and they love all of us in the Remnant Army. What we were experiencing, I'm sure each one who says the Rosary experiences this, and we just don't even, aren't even aware in most cases that the angels and saints have gathered around us when we pray the Rosary. And then um, he said something I thought was really, really inspirational and really, really beautiful. And he said, they see you as heroes. And I just thought that was so amazing. And I understood fully what he was saying. And I want to share the understanding with you because sometimes he just makes me understand things without even saying a word. And what I understood was that we, the Remnant Army, who are in the flesh, are praying our rosaries. We are fighting the spiritual battle on the front lines. So we are here in the flesh to do this job and to be these warriors, these spiritual warriors. And it's the greatest battle that will ever be fought is this end time battle, the spiritual battle. And the prayers of the rosary are the most powerful and profound prayers. And here is where I want to add that you do not need to be Catholic to pray the rosary. And if you search online, you can find all kinds of information about how to pray the rosary ask and you can also ask any of your Catholic friends um, how they pray the rosary although I will say that it's kind of like um, crocheting for old women it's a lost art and very few people are left that will say the rosary so your best bet is to um, to go online and just research how you can pray the rosary and there's a lot of information available on that Okay, so then, um, oh, I did want to mention too, in the spirit, I, I watched the Lord walk over to each of the members of the Remnant Army in our prayer group and kiss them on the cheek when he was saying that he loved us. And I just thought that was so beautiful, so beautiful. But what was interesting too is after um, the Lord spoke to my soul and it was very quick and very brief and after this happened it was immediately before we began the fifth sorrowful mystery which was the crucifixion so it's just in that moment before 
his crucifixion was honored in the rosary, which I thought was so, so profound and so beautiful. I'm going to read um, the fifth sorrowful mystery is the crucifixion. Jesus uttered a loud cry and said, Father, unto your hands I commend my spirit. And after this he expired. And this is from Luke 23, 46. And the fruit of the mystery is perseverance. And I think it's no coincidence that when the Lord spoke to my soul, it was right before that fruit of the mystery is perseverance. He, he wants us to persevere. There's no question there. And I, I just thought that was so beautiful. But that was not all. I also heard from Mary at the end of our rosary. Mary spoke to my soul. And she spoke of how she was so glad that we had assembled, that we had gathered together. And um, she talked about how our prayers for uh, the, rem the, our, the remnant army, our prayers for the salvation of souls are so important. She just emphasized how important it is that we continue to pray. The other thing that she talked about was that we needed to pray for the lost. And that was just so, so intense, the way she talked about the lost. It was with such urgency. And so I, I just want to convey that, that that's coming directly from Mary. And then the other thing was she spoke about she said to me specifically, your Jesus needs you to pray. Your Jesus. And the way she said your Jesus was so beautiful. And I found it interesting because I've never been spoken to in that way. She was talking to me as though Jesus and I were partners and she was talking to me as, as as we were one like you know Jesus is coming for his bride the church I am a member of that church I am among those who are his bride and she was speaking to me as though I was his bride and I felt that when she said your Jesus needs you to pray and what I found interesting is I have recently uh, gotten this ring and in fact the night before I put this ring on and this represents my commitment to Jesus Christ and I'm never taking it off and this is when the next time that Mary spoke to my soul she said your Jesus as though I was his wife as we all are in the remnant army so I just thought I would share that and then she made this, um, put through this thought or made this comment where she said um, how important it is we pray for the lost. And then she said, we don't want Jesus' death to be in vain, you know, all for naught, because he died to save those, all of us from our sins. And there's so many who aren't receiving that. So there you go. That was everything. And it was so beautiful and so powerful and so profound. And I definitely wanted to share it with you. Um, you know, uh, it's just, we're, we're in the thick of it. When you, um, uh, you know, a whole nother topic I'm not going to go into now, but when you look at what is going on in our church, the Catholic Church has been infiltrated by the wicked, and um, the leadership is corrupt, and it's we're not talking about it in the shadows anymore. There is the uh, traditional Catholic uh, community who knows their faith and who is speaking up, and uh, I am among them. And uh, then there are the uh, lost souls who are blind to the fact that um, the wicked are leading them astray and have no idea. And I'm going to do a video about all that. Uh, but in the meantime, 
um, just know that your prayers are important, that Jesus and Mary and all the angels and saints are um, are gathered around us as we pray our rosaries, and uh, it, we just need to uh, keep this vigil going, praying for the salvation of souls. Thank you so much for listening to my video. Um, my name is Michelle Shannon. I am a child of the Most High God, and I belong to Jesus. Never forget that you are a child of the Most High God, and you belong to Jesus. God be with you.